What I want to show you today is how to set a reminder using your calendar to remind you if you need to do something. But more importantly, I had a case whereby at the church I go to, the Salvation Army, East City in Howick, New Zealand, um, I look after all of the technical requirements for things like the sound desk, the multimedia, all that kind of stuff. And as part of it, we have wireless microphones, and those obviously require batteries. Now, because of the cost of the batteries, I decided to purchase a whole lot of rechargeable batteries and a battery charger. And what would happen is after a Sunday service, they would be put on to charge. And then on Tuesday, when the office is open again, the receptionist would just go in there and remove the batteries from the charger for me and put on any, any more that are required. So in so doing, I said to the receptionist, look, what I'll do is I'll give you the ability to receive a message every Tuesday morning to remind you to do this. So I thought of writing an agent or something in Lotus Notes to do this, but I found that there's an easier way by using my calendar. So if you have a look here on my client, you'll see here that I've got a reminder alarm in my email. Could you please remove the batteries from the charger in the sound desk? That's where we have the batteries. Um, and also a, a reply from the Salvation Army East City. And this is where the receptionist replied to the message that I sent through. So all I had to do was go into my calendar and you can see here that I've got a meeting it's scheduled at 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, could you please remove the batteries from the charger and the sound desk? So if I open that meeting, or it's a reminder actually, once I've opened it, you see it's got the type as a reminder, got the date, and what I was able to do was actually able to set the dates from now through to the end of the year. So I'll just do a dummy one with you so you can see how it's done. So let's say we wanted it to happen at 10 o'clock on Wednesdays. Okay, so 10 o'clock set there. So I just go to appointment, I change this to being a reminder. And for this one I might say, please um, place batteries and charger. Okay, so this is what I did. So I tick the notify box, and in here, what I do is I tick on, I put a tick on send mail notification with subject, and here I'm able to type in the person's name. So let's just say um, I go to the address book and look up the name. So the name of the receptionist is Dina, and I said the alarm will go off whenever. So I had that set at 6 a.m. But she actually got the email at about 11. I didn't want her to have it first thing in the morning because she may have emails from the weekend to look at. So I, um, in this case, I just say, let's say two hours after the event. And I just click on OK. So that will now send her an email two hours after 10 o'clock on, on Wednesday the 4th. OK, but because this would happen, let's say, on a weekly basis every Wednesday, I click on repeat, I go to weekly, and I make sure Wednesdays tick. So here you can see the next five weeks worth of Wednesdays. So because I know that this is going to go on for a while, I just say yearly. So um, continuing for one year, and there they all are. And then I just have to go OK. And save and close. And now you can see a reminder here on on Wednesday the 4th and it'll be on every other Wednesday and um, two hours after 10 a.m. passes so 12 o'clock on a Wednesday she would receive an email saying to please do that so it's a good way of sending a automated reminder to somebody else to do something and also having a record of it in your calendar as well